Christian Swartz is part of the grassroots amazing revitalization that's been experienced in some of our grandest churches by our most visionary pastors. You're part of that. One of the best things about being a bishop at this time and place is God has finally given us provable, workable tools for the renewal of congregations. And natural church development is at the top of our list. Natural church development has become the go-to solution to the challenges that we face in our churches. And I am so excited by it. Uh, One of the great things about being bishop in North Alabama is I get to see virtually every weekend, I get to be in churches that are testimonial to the power of NCD and the way God can use this mechanism for the renewal of our church. I love to go into a church. I'm meeting with a group of lay leaders, and I say, uh, uh, tell me about what's happening in your church. And a lay leader says, well, our minimum factor is so-and-so. And then the other one says, but we were pleased that our maximum factor was this, and we're working on our minimum factor, and we were so pleased that when we retested, we were two points higher on the minimum factor than we were when we first tested. Well, Christian Swartz is helping the Holy Spirit to revitalize our churches. Thank you, Christian, and you're in for a great time of renewal while you're here. Now I want to introduce you to a remarkable woman, Nancy Cole. She is the motor behind all of this development in uh, this, you don't call it diocese, but conference of the United Methodist Church. Nancy, what is your exact title or responsibility in this conference? I am the Natural Church Development Coordinator for the North Alabama Conference of the United Methodist Church. So Natural Church Development is your job description? That's right. It is a priority of our conference, Natural Church Development, and has been for the past six years. How many churches does your conference encompass and how many are involved actively in Natural Church Development? We have approximately 780 churches in our conference. and over Quite a large one. Yeah. Over 500 of them have participated by surveying at least once. Many, many of them have surveyed two or more times. This is a high percentage for a mainline denomination. Really what is. is the background for that? Because it does, just didn't happen all by itself. No, it didn't. The um, cabinet, which is made up of our district superintendents and the bishop, they fully support natural church development. What results do you see when you compare those churches who are actively involved in a NCD process against those who are not involved? Are there any significant differences? That's the most important and, and the most exciting thing. Of the churches that have engaged in NCD for two or more cycles, we can see that their attendance is tracking up. More precisely, how many of them that are involved in NCD are growing? What is the percentage of that group? 87% are 80%, 87% of all churches that have done several surveys? Are growing. Are growing churches. And you are sure that you are speaking about a United <laughs> Methodist conference? I really am, and we take average attendance every week, so our numbers are solid on who uh, whose attendance is tracking upward and who is not. So that is a, a wonderful statistic that we're able to say that for those churches who have done two or more surveys on a regular basis, their attendance is tracking upward, and that means they are growing and they are becoming healthier.